Thank you, everybody, Shalom, for being healthy enough to do this. I thank you, everybody, Shalom, for that. I'm not going to be Shalai. This is a little new Shalai. I learned in the mirror with Rebecca, and ah, hard work, day by day. He is pretty sweet. If I did anything nice about him, I'm better. Not there in defense burden. 
because I tell you the story and I hate to entertain you. We we'll went on to Elspeth as a shame. Two weeks ago Sunday, I was traveling from Ramat Gan from the graduation of the school of the class to Shalayim. And it was a siren. So we pull over to the side of the road and I get out. My driver, who I had the same driver for years, he knows he can talk to me for 10 minutes and then he leaves me alone. So he tells me he was someone that, that you never know you meet, and now it's a fellow that uh, you don't know what he knows in learning, and you don't know where he's been in the army. He says, This is what you have to do to get out on, on the ground and lay yourself flat. And he did the same thing, and there's some other person down the road did the same thing. So after the explosion, he said that was three minutes away. I hopefully affirmed you, or an Arab to you. I hope. He's what they call a traditional Jew. People down the road, they didn't look like they were uh, shrine rate tired, put it that way. You know something? We were all together. We were all together. He said the explosion was three minutes away. But we were all together three minutes away. I think that's why Rabbi Yaakov picked the subject. I want to start and end on a positive note. I came to the airport in Yushal in Tel Aviv. And since I'm an unusual person, I tell the truth that from taking something for someone, I tell them. So, so I'm bringing mezuzot to Lakewood. So this policewoman takes the mezuzot, mezuzahs, and puts them through the X-ray machine. And then she takes them. She didn't know what they were. She didn't know what they were. She brings them to an older policewoman to put them under an ultraviolet light. So she says, the older policewoman says to the younger policewoman, policewoman, you don't know what this is, get out of here. They don't know what it is. But they, don't, they don't know what it is. So, they don't know what it is. Rav Nachman Bukhan Zakhrayi Levrova was in a hospital. Maybe some of you know his name. He was a very great Jew. And in the bed next to him was an old Sephardi Jew. Comes his daughter, who was a professor, foaming at the mouth about the Haredim. And some Orsameh boys came out of Shabbos to sing. And she stood there transfixed. He says, where are these boys from? So I said, they're from Orsamer. Orsamer? Orsamer is a cult. She changed on the dime. You know? Ravova told us, the friend of the Rafi, he told us, you don't do kiris in America, Khalila, they're going to marry a girl. Tragedy in the Darius. In Israel, if you're not in the Kairiv, the whole country will fall apart. But Bessus Hashem, we're not, we're not so far away. Sometimes we need to get clipped. But that's a Jew. Hashem should have a chmodus on us. But the Yaakov asked me to speak about my Sabal Machavere. My Virabi Zechit Sadiq Vrocha, Rav Sumcha Vasaman, he said he said, There are certain mitzvahs that are Jewish mitzvahs. You don't take ribbons from a Jew. Return lost objects to a Jew. I have in my pocket what's left of this watch. Yeah? This watch, which I can't get another one of. They stopped making them. Yeah? So, this watch has on it a mode to remind me what to do. And a telephone thing. 
I lost it. Actually, I lost a few uh, guild rulers on this. I got my watch back. How did I get my watch back? Someone went through the telephone mode, and the Tzad HaShovah, these people, was now forward. Mikam Cha Yisrael. Mikam Cha Yisrael. So, my HaShovah said, hey, there. It's only for you, Jews. It's not, it's not a mystery to the nation of Aveda. How about Dan Lukas first? He said that Tishbait Amisefa. I see someone doing something. It looks like really, like really, like looks bad. There's a mystery to be Dan Lukas first, and if he's a tzaddik, so then if it looks like the Lukas first, manish. So you have to be down the cuffs first. I have standard Kiddush that the Rebbeinu was called Sadiq Hashel Ayman. He just did something I didn't like. Well, there's a mystery to down the Rebbeinu Shalai on the cuffs also. These are three separate subjects. Three separate subjects of how you do it. But my variety is a friend of the Rocha said, that the common denominator of these three things is I'll be safe though, you don't have to do it. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. And finish. I have to, I have to go out of my way to find the list to return an object. And I had a book in my, in my, in my house for about, what, 15 years? It had a name in it. The Dovishiesh by Simon. I had a And I found out 15 years later, it was my upstairs neighbor's ex brother in law. It's there. Nikam for Israel. For a brother. You do it for a brother. Seichel, you don't have to be Seichel with a brother. I'll be Seichel. Find his keepers, lose his weepers. Why should I not? Why should I lend you money without weepers? I can invest in Coca Cola and make money. But for my brother, I don't take weepers. But said that Tishbad Ami Seichel. It said that Tishma Rami Sefa, I have to twist myself into a person to figure out that, that really you're okay. But for a brother, you do. So it's not to try, it's not against God. It's not against God, it's not racism. I would do this to the brother. You're my brother, my brother. A Jew is my brother. I once had to go to England for one day to speak to principals in Bournemouth. And I told the rabbi, please take care of the taxi for me to the airport. And then someone wanted to drive me, so I faxed him, I think, that the airport's taken care of. I come to Heathrow, nobody's there. Nobody's there. So I find someone who has a zingala, they call them. He's my brother, can I borrow your mobile? So he says to me, okay. I called the rabbi. The rabbi said, but you said the airport is taken care of. The airport to an Englishman is Heathrow. To me, it's that fellow's airport. BG airport. So I was stuck there. Yeah, I had $5, no cell phone, garnish. A woman comes up to me. She don't need a PhD in psychology to figure out that I'm upset. And she says to me, what's wrong? So I said, well, I told her. So it's not a problem. And here's $180 for a mini kid to woman. Here's rice cakes, a cooling card, my address, and water. She never didn't know me for anyone. Me come for Israel. That's a brother. That's a brother. These mitzvahs are not against anyone. But the business can prove them. You know, a brother or not? A guy is mechuyiv to live up his seichel. So Ramban, the beginning of Hashem Shnaya. It's not seichel, Dick. To go over to somebody and give him one hundred eighty dollars for when he came to go to Bournemouth. It's not seichel. It's not seichel. Doesn't say that. There are many, many, many matches like this. Seichel doesn't say to lend the tariffs. Seichel doesn't say, I should carry around a bed. Just last week, I picked up a pen, one of these pens, in Lakewood, 
And then I realized, it's a Dutch English sin. It's better for the feeler. But then I realized, you know, a buyer. It's me, Shlomi Das. I don't know. It's a before, it's if, it's not Yakimi, it's not Hashimi. I don't know what it is. So the Hashimi is a kind of a rock or a shrine in hell. You can give money to Siddhartha, the value of the pen. There's an umdana. There's an umdana that the person not going to get his pen back anyway. Because there's no synagogue. There are a lot of times like this. So you give money. Whoever thinks it's such a thing. For a brother, you think of that. And the Rabbi Yaakov asked me to speak about, about Naisi Bar Bukhadera. What does it mean, Naisi Bar Bukhadera? To bear your friend's bad burden. That's in Yanadi Ayna. That's in Yanadi Ayna. First, we have to know Rabbi Chaim Friedland, there's a Chaim of Rocha. He was an amazing Jew. I was there to be a Ben Bayez by him. At the end of his life, the man was a Malach. I, I mean, he came into he came into Rashak, the friend of Rosh He had a few days left to live. One minute left. He asked Rashak, "What should I do with a few days?" Do you hear what he said? Work on your meters. I would have said, "Work my prayer, do my mitzvahs." The Chayim, the Chayim. I came once to the house there because I needed to see Reb Chaim Greenham on the next morning. So he made my bed. He brought me negovasa. Reb Chaim, that's what Rosh told me. Because we are our midas. We come to Elul Ma'amis with us. <coughs> me is my midas. How do I treat my wife? How do I treat my children? How do I treat... My neighbors, who am I, is my meters. That's what I'm shocking is. Work on your meters. And I would think he's the last person on the planet that he has to work on his meters. The star man. But the Chaim writes that Naisi Ba'ilum Chaveirai is in his simchis also. I, it's, it, you feel someone else's simcha. And I think there are three madrigas, and we'll see in the time that we have the different madragas of how we can do this. The lowest madraga is when you get something and that's important to you, doesn't mean anything to me, and it's important to you, and I say, oh, that's terrific. For instance, now, you know, somebody asked me a bunch of years ago, he says, Rosh Hashanah is around the same time as the World Series. Are you okay for He says he's more worried about the Yankees and the Red Sox than he's about the Yankees. He knows something's wrong. Like, what should he do about it? So I said to him, remember last year, I know I'm dating myself, I remember which year it was, when the Red Sox were ahead three, uh, the Yankees had three to one, the Red Sox won three games, and they beat the Yankees in the World Series. He says, how do you feel then? He said it was... It was Tisha B'Av. It was Tisha B'Av. So I said to him, how do you feel now? He said, it doesn't matter. So that's a sin and it never mattered. Two days later, it doesn't matter. It means it doesn't matter. So when someone comes to me and says, you know, the, uh, the X won the penny. So I say, I'm happy for you. I feel his simcha. I don't, it has nothing to do with me, but I feel his simcha. He's a Jew. He's happy. Fuck, say that. The next is when something is important to me and you're, and, and you're much left. I tell the now that the Fedori. I tell the now in Fedori, a class next to see him, everyone should benefit from it. They should give out the, that class should give out candies to the rest of the, to the rest of the, uh, uh, and maybe during recess. The Mashkir Sechayin of Rocha. Here we can say it's Rabbeinu, because his, his son is a Rebbe here. And here Shvelin is a Chayin of Rocha, and the Mir told us, this is Pasha Tarim Misinai. He heard from Rabbi Ruchin. A reward for a child is he can make someone else happy. Because you did a good thing, here, go give me a brother, go give me a sister. It's a mighty, 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 give out it, give out it. To put a smile on someone else's face. That's what Mashkir said in the name of Rabbi Rukh, this is Tarim Sinai. 
So you make me see him, give out me. I'm so happy that you make me see him. When people come together and they did Mishtatif in the Suda, someone made me see him. Now it's important to me to make you see him also. But you're being successful, even if it's nothing important to me, I'm happy for you. That's a nice and well, Chavera, positively. But there's a third Madrega. We both want to buy a house. I like the house. I knew bought the house. Your gain was my loss. I'm happy for you. I have simcha for you when you're my sleep in something, even at my expense. Does that matter to be nice and well? That's a kind of Kiddush. The nice and well for them is to feel the other person, even their simcha. But let's, let's move on a little bit. We need a very tiny introduction. There are three le- reasons we love something. I learned it very much from him. I sat next to him for five years. He said, the guy brings down in Shirashirim, in Mishlai, he loved Gimel, Shirashirim, hey, there's three reasons you love someone. Either because it's all right, it's sweet, you are fine. The Sefer Yoshe says the same thing, by the way. Same word. Three reasons for Ahab. One is you're orif, you're sweet, you make me happy. Another is I get something out of you. You're mild. You do things to me. You give me aches, you give me brachis, you, you, you help me out, you help me when I need to have my car fixed. I like you for that. And then it's tight. I love someone or something because it's good. Because it's good. I love Tzadikim. He said an amazing thing, a sharp thing. He says, today our love for Tzadikim is love of Mayim. I want a bracha out of you. I want a, 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 a answer from you. But just to love you because you're a Tzadik, Rav Mil is a kind of bracha. I lived in the family before I went to the mirror. And he was my mashbir. Rav Mil is a kind of bracha. And he said, go to Muncie and look at Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky and just love him. You don't want advice from him. You don't want a rough out of him. I walked over once to Rabbi Feinstein Friday in Staten Island. Someone was getting a haskama from him. I said, I don't want anything on Rosh Hashiva. He gave me this little wry smile. I just want to wish him good Shabbos, that's all. OK? Just want to wish him good Shabbos. He says, today our love of tzaddikim is my, not toy. And he says, not besser. That's why we have a hard time hating Amole. Because what did Amole ever do to me? If you hate her, if you hate Ra, the Rabbi Avram Kodzinski, Hashem Yinkam Domai, the last Mashkiach in Slavotka said, Oy have Hashem sinu Ra. You don't hate straight, because then you become a hateful person. You love time. When you love time, oya de Hashem, me may well be sinura. That's how you hate Mishra, but if you love Tzadikin, only because they give you something, so then how you can hate Ra, because it's Ra. You have to love time because it's time, and not because you did something for me. Now, I'm not telling you not to ask for brachas. I'm not telling you not to use phrases, but that's not the basis of your cash of your love for that person. One other nakuda is that the bigger the person, the more something abstract is real. A child, so if you take something, you take an object, for a very young child, and you put it behind something, it doesn't exist anymore. The ability to abstract is, is, a, is a, an adult ability. I learned, I, 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 uh, I held together a class in Yerushalayim with Rabbi Yudha Kravitz. Rabbi Yudha Kravitz, Rechaim Levracha, was a Talmud of the Chafetz Chaim for five years. For five years. He told me once how the Chafetz Chaim gave the Shemuiz. He said he would get, this was his example. He'd get up and say, Shiru Lord, Zalmu Lord. And he, he was talking about someone. 
He was talking about someone. You felt, there's a Rebbein Shalayim. Do you believe Cornega Avenue exists? You can't see it now. The answer is, you're an adult. To, 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 to the Chofetz Chaim, Oyun Haba was a real place. The Rebbein Shalom was real. She was alive. He didn't have to have the delivery. He didn't have to have stories. He didn't have to have the Shalom. Today it's different. Even Rav Desla said, they said to him, you know, don't talk like the Alta, the Alta anymore. The Alta didn't talk like that. He says, yeah, but it's a different dog. That's a different dog. And that's, that's, that's the way it is. Dog with dog, Yishabach Masech, every dog is Mishbiach. My Rebbe Zechariah Morocco said, this is the first time in the history of Klal Yisrael that people did true when things were good. No one's forcing Americans to do tshuva. They're not. And he said, the Shovel Mayor and Soye, they're going to return from the land of the enemy. <coughs> Russell still crying. People coming to Harry to sell today, the Shovel Bon and Luke Vula. They're coming home. They're coming home. Baruch Hashem, as the Rashika said before, there's an Akshur Dara in some things. We have this Yonis. I don't, Rav Matisio said, I don't know, he, and I agree. I don't know if I would make it today with the Nisayanists these kids have. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd make it. A bacha who cleaned, who learned, but the, with, with the Nishama Tahira, he's pushing, in history didn't happen such a thing. Who you are. Now let's take very briefly some examples. When he feels, when he, Avelos. So the Geshe Chaim says, Avelos is for my loss. I'm missing this person. I'm mourning for myself. It's my turn. I don't get out of myself. A kid can't get out of himself. Your child is hungry, feed him. The child is thirsty, give him to drink. Kids can't handle, they can't wait. An adult can get outside of himself and see how he first. Then there's another level of Avelis. The Avelis of the Nifta. The Nifta goes through a transition. The Nifta has Tsar. Okay? It, it, so maybe it's like pulling your hair out of your There's different levels of, 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 of Misa. Different levels of tzar, but do you feel for the nifter? Oh, for people in Eretz Israel, this soldier was killed, he was a chassan. Do you feel for someone else? Can you get outside of yourself? I want to tie it to what Chesed, the show she will Chesed is chas, to have rachmanis. What, what does chas mean? Chas means rachmanis, I have on something that's mine. A nechem al tochusu al kleichem. It says this in the Hebrew. So what's chesed? Chesed is I take my definition of self and extend it to you also. You also me. The Ramban said we can't do it perfectly. We have to have a But chesed means you also me. That's another metric. That's like the nice boil and the simcha. Well, the tzar of Avelos is someone else's bizarre. Someone else's bizarre. The nift is bizarre. And then the third level is the tzar hashrina. Kali Mizrahi, Kali Mirashi, Kali Mizrahi, that even in Russia dies, the Ebishna has tzar. Vaiva hashuf in the body of Afra. And Shrina has tzar. Shrina has tzar. He has said that we're sitting here in such a beautiful place, but we, there are better places to be. But if you have to be somewhere, it's a good place to be. But we're in Golas. We're in Golas. We are in Golas. Like Rashid said, we have to remember we're in Golas. Someone said that the gas company puts a bad smell in the gas because natural gas has no smell. So they put in a bad smell to not stay away from it. That's anti Semitism. It's, it, he has a bad smell, stay away from him. How 
about Chutma Bayis. The lowest level, even though we're maybe below that level, is what is in my life that's missing because of no Beis HaMikdash? You know, it's not that Beis HaMikdash. It's not happening. Like the Rashiva said, you don't have to it. You can't. What was the Beis HaMikdash for? Three times a year you came and adjusted your comments. You have to know, am I going the right way? You saw Karnam Bavai Dasan, Levi and Bishira. The whole Yerusha line was full of Ga'ayim and Tzadik It says that the Maisi Shani that people brought to Yerusha line, it was too much to eat in, in a few days. So everyone had a representative or representative from their Mishpacha who lived in Yerusha line off of Maisi Shani, which converted to, can convert to money also in, in, outside of Yerusha line. You, had, you walked into a city which was, it was, a, it was it, you were walking into a different world. So when you lost your show, you lost your compass. You lost your compass. I don't know where I'm going. The Rashiva said. We don't know what he was. It's good, it's a bad, it's a mitzvah, it's an avera. We just like it. Me, not you. And then, there's a higher level. Is this how much pain there is in this world? How, many, how much pain there is? Someone else is in pain. Even a few, it's good. Someone else is in pain. I had the nachas, my teenage son, 30 years ago, said, I have hard time diving through Shalayim. I'm in, I'm in Yeshiva Kitan of Kol Tera. Rav Shlomo Broy is my Rebbe. Today he's my Shkir the base of my I dove to get Rav Shlomo Broy as a Rebbe. Everything's perfect for me. I'm having a hard time in being in Davni for being in Yerushalayim. I wish all of you such problems with your teenagers. So I told him that the Chavaz Chaim said, for him it's better than Mashiach not to come. He's winning. He's working. Ashla Yavah Hayom and Horayim. Every month I'm a sheikh when my lover says a medish kahelis. Every month it's close to the way But other people are suffering. Don't just think of yourself. Even if you are making it. And then there's Shrita the Bagulusa. There's another level. Shrita the Bagulusa. Can you get more outside of yourself? The Yvonne Shrita Sadiq Shalayla. I know the Jew, he didn't grow up in a religious home. Kensha and Shabbos towards the end of his life. You know what he called the Rebun Shalom? My friend. My friend. Now, whoa. I don't know who's my trader. He felt the Rebun Shalom was his friend. I don't know he realized it. <coughs> Let me finish and wind up. Maybe a little bit of advice if I could. Have. <coughs> she just leave the set, we can give a little drop up. I'm not that I'm right, but I'll tell you myself. After that, for 16 years, I was a, uh, I was a Rebbe in Asia Terra. I went to Rabbi Noah Feinberg, I started talking to boys who were going out. Started, who were going out, who were dating. So I asked, do you have any advice for me? So he told me something simple and ingenious. Most simple things are ingenious, by the way. He said, teach them to notice someone else's face. A Bacha lives in his own world. He gets his best kavrusa, which he should. And he gets his best seed in the year. I remember the Mashkir, the Chaim Levacha came in. We were voting by Rashul Brutman, the Chaim Levacha. And there were a few Bacha who were really, you know, not liking the year. And they were asking kashas and this. But Shul was going on to I remember once one day he was reading from the Mithras, you know, he thought it was success. As the same, the beginning has the same source of dance as, as success. So he opened it up, Rebellion accounts used to send people down to the base manager to bring up the same. He thought it was success. And he opened it up, he started reading. And told the Chab that Nam Kachab Tesemichus Khinu. It was a guy in idea. But a lot of work got lost. 
So Mashkiach came in. A fish fell, was a friend of Rothi. He came in, he said, Just because you, you can't push everyone else out of the way, you have to be miskash with someone else in Ruchnius also. Yeah? He came in. So a Bokha thinks about himself. He's a different Bokha. He thinks about the best piece of chicken on the table. Maybe he thinks about the best roommate. He's always thinking about himself. Well, you know something? When he gets married, that's going to change. It better change. Okay? So the first step he told me was notice somebody else's face. Just notice. Is he sad? Is he happy? Just notice someone else. There is someone else in the world. That's the beginning of being a nice and bon chaver is to notice that there's somebody else. I have a few other steps after that. The second step is, let me just die here, care about it. You see someone sad. You see someone's over there. You see someone's down. Feel bad. And the other way also, like Rabbi Chaim said, if you see someone is happy, feel the simcha. Feel the simcha. My brother is happy. I feel happy also. Noisi Bon Chavera is also a mitzvah of Noisi Bon Chavera. My brother. We don't talk about Seichel. It's just Seichel. Why should I be happy for you? Why should I care about you? The answer is, you're my brother. Now the truth is, you can graduate to other people also. It doesn't have to be just Jews. But the mitzvah is the quality. Because if you can't do it, you know, if you can't do it for your children and your wife and your family and your neighbors, and you can't do it for somebody else, you can't love Claudia Israel and not get along with your mother-in-law. She's also better be part of Claudia Israel. Understand? Care about someone else. The type of the mother. And next, my dragon, is say it's you, sorry. You see someone's bizarre. Rabbi Zahran Levokha told us, you hear a siren, an ambulance, stop, and say, I say a, a few soak in. It's somebody's brother, someone's father, someone's child. In Far Rockaway, the stone is a rumor the lesser come on that's a Jew or something. It's nice. Say something. Do something. You see someone is happy, say, Baruch Hashem, thank the Rebbein Shalom, he's here. Say something. And you also can say good morning and say, I'm happy to see you. I told Rebbe, one of the big preparations for that class every day is, who am I going to smile at today? Who am I going to say good morning to with an extra slide? Who am I going to say I missed you yesterday? <coughs> After that, I have to hear stories. And then, of course, you learn the Indian, but it has to be very evident. And the, and, and the last thing is think about what you can do. Fantasize about what you could do. If I had the money, if I had the kayak, if I had the time, I would do this and this and this for him. <clears throat> Most people don't appreciate Aces from people they don't know. That's the way it is. They don't appreciate their they don't appreciate exes. So I'm all up and striving. I'm all sometimes have to be quiet. But you can think about what could I possibly do for that person. I'll tell you an amazing story. Again, for a Nachman born as a friend of the Rosh. He said, he, I heard it. Yeah, he, he had, uh, I think it was the uh, Newport News, Virginia, I think. Something like that was his first Stella, many years ago. Yeah? There was a woman who had, had married out. 30 years later, 30 years later, he, he gets a phone call and he says, Judy, is that you? He says, Rabbi, I want to come home. He, he recognized her once immediately. You know what that means? She was still on his monitor. Tell me that he's supposed to die with you, tell me that. Supposed to care about them, supposed to think about them. Rabbi Shroom Brooklyn is a friend of the Rosh said, Why was it that Amalek was the one who came, 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 was ready? All 
we have to move to some other one. They, no, no one ever got out of Egypt. It's not the game anymore. But I only love the Torah of Mechias Yisrael, of destroying Yisrael. He held, he learned it even though it wasn't the game. And that's, he said, that's why, that's why uh, Mordechai learned Hilchus Kimitsu with these kids. I, they're being killed tomorrow morning. Should have learned with them Hilchus Kimitsu with all this. So no. Dr. Hilchus Kimitsu. There's no mess on it. It's not going to happen anymore. We're going to be killed. Let's learn Torah. It's not the Gale of Isa. Because that's the Torah that's Negan Amalek. Amalek was Sinus Israel, even though it's not the Gale. That's why he was holding in the Sugya. You think about someone, you never know. Beholding the sugya. Beholding the sugya, you care about that. So let me finish. Today, I have this question to say to have Torah. Yogel Libenu. Says Yogel Libenu. What does Yogel Libenu mean? So the guy says, it's no gila the nismach of Yeshua Sechel. Gila is a thing that's Keeps repeating yourself that you expect. It's <coughs> called Gimel Chavdal. Go Yogil Avit Tzadik. Those mitzvahs are things that keep repeating themselves. I want the same kind of aspect that Moshe Rabbeinu used. I don't want a newfangled aspect. Babi, Yid, Ben Choch, Ami Samachar. But Torah is the Malam and Hashemesh. Yismu Choshemayim. But Oretz is so good for Oretz. It's not new. Gimelam is things that repeat themselves, like a gal gal. Kids say, oh gal they keep repeating themselves. No gila is something I expected to happen. No gila. But I didn't realize it'd be so good. That's the nismachah. That's a finish. No gila, the nismachah, the Yeshua Sechah. You're getting the bad We ask to be Baishim, please. We know there can be a gula. Like the Roshiva said, there's no promises, but the end will for sure be good. The end will be good. That's why my Rabbi Zechem of Ocha said why the belief in Mashiach is part of you Gimli Ikari. Because if you don't believe in Mashiach, you mean you actually believe that the Bible can lose. He's not losing. He's just not losing. I want to be there. I want to be one of those people who Shem says, okay, you can come also. There's no, there's no guarantees. Other than God said, when Mashiach comes, he's hiding under the table. And I told him about it. I'm in Isaac to be in Tyra. Mashiach could walk into the base of marriage and say, he's your Mashiach. It's frightening. It's very frightening. So we want to be happy. We want to be Zaycha. The Baish is going to win. We just want to be part of it. The Hirotra, Shem Nogila, the Nismacha, the Shurasa.